So today we're going to talk about narcissistic uh, othering. So narcissistic othering, it is a dangerous tendency to see other people as less than human or as a threat to justify one's own nasty actions. It's dehumanization that can lead to prejudice, discrimination, or even violence. So narcissistic othering is a potential harm that is caused by discrimination. It's usually very intentional, can be defined as an act or an attitude of prejudice against people based on their own narcissistic traits. So narcissistic othering usually happens when people with this NPD uh, feel threatened or they feel insecure, jealous, or envious. Mm -hmm. When this happens, they may react by devaluing, discouraging, or demonizing others so that they can feel better about themselves and it can lead to harmful consequences for both the person being targeted and society as a whole. So narcissistic othering, it is dangerous. It is destructive form of narcissism that involves deliberately putting someone down in order to feel better about oneself. It is a form of emotional abuse that can have devastating consequences for the victim. So narcissistic othering is one of those ways they use to control and manipulate others to make someone feel inferior and unworthy and to justify treating them badly. It can also feed, uh, lead to feelings of isolation, anxiety, and depression. So if you're in a relationship with someone who uh, is narcissistically othering you, it's important to seek help and to get away, and I mean get away fast from the situation as soon as possible, because narcissistic othering is a form of emotional abuse that can destroy your self-esteem and leave you feeling hopeless and alone, and we don't want to give them that satisfaction, do we? So the narcissist that I was involved with, and he and his, his lady, um, they went as far as to call networks of people who were interested in collaborating with me and basically said that I wasn't one of them and that they should not work with me. Uh, they did this for my potential career opportunities and potential romantic suitors. Mm, the nerve. So the narcissist also wanted people not to see me for who I am and said they made me out to be needy, lazy, mentally ill, unreliable, uh, you know, verge of being homeless, jobless, not someone you want to work with, a bad mother, a drug addict, a prostitute, a beggar, and much, much more. Mm -hmm. So in reality, I'm a highly educated person with a master's degree. I've been employed for many years since I was 17 years old. I don't do drugs. I'm not an alcoholic or an addict or a prostitute. I've never have been. I grew up middle class. I've never been homeless. Uh, I've always paid my bills. I've had three homes that I've owned. I don't beg for money. I don't ask people for money. So I'm definitely not a liar and my son is a grown adult who grew up in a single parent but happy home. Uh, and he is a happy adult. They wanted to assassinate my character and to take me down in order to make me look like someone who I am not. Um, and I know who the people are who did it, and I know why. The only reason I address these issues is because the slander that they put out on the internet and by word of mouth, it is defamation of character. And I will not let it stand without speaking the truth. And if I have to speak it over and over again, I will. They don't want to take responsibility for the things they've done. So they tend to project their own behaviors onto victims. So there's also another reason that, that they did this to me. They have done some criminal things to me that have are, are slowly coming out into the open. And what is done in the dark, baby, will come to light very, very soon. Mark my words. So narcissistic othering, it can have a negative impact on both individuals doing the othering and the target of the othering. It can lead to feelings of isolation, exclusion, inferiority, and it can contribute to bullying and prejudice. So if you want to avoid the dark side of narcissistic othering, beware of the potential negative effects and avoid engaging in it yourself. Now, just one thing before I conclude. I'd like to say to you, if someone talks to you about someone in that manner, first of all, don't just believe it. Ask yourself why. Why are they just bringing these things up without you asking? How do they even know about these opportunities that this other person may have? And why do they take it upon themselves 
to go give you this information. Um, they're not just being good Samaritans. They're wanting to get their, their narrative out there so that they can stop someone from getting the things that they deserve. And you have to ask yourself, why would someone go as far as doing this? Now, if they come up with some video that looks false or fake, <laughs> which uh, I believe has been put out about me, don't believe it. I implore you to go to the source, who the person they're talking about, to ask if these things are true. Because a lot of people in this situation that I'm dealing with have gotten themselves into trouble by just believing and not doing their own education and research on why this person is saying these things. Especially if you know the person and you know that's not their character, then you need to do due diligence to find out whether that's true or not. I implore people, grown people, okay, to communicate. Learn how to ask the appropriate questions before coming to conclusions. The people who spread these kind of things about me didn't ask the correct questions, but I'm here to clarify and get the truth out there. All right, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And please, please, please um, don't be part of this narcissistic othering. And if you can help someone get out of a situation uh, in a narcissistic relationship that is abusive, please do. Uh, and please come back for another video on the topic.